All right, just got to the gym and it's leg day. I know I've said before that nobody really wants to watch a leg workout on my channel. I don't care. I hit legs. I'm gonna film it. The arm workouts obviously get better coverage, but I'm not in this just for the views. I'm in this to inform, entertain, and help people out. So, unfortunately for me, I have wireless headphones and they've been dead for a couple of days and I keep going home and saying I need to charge my headphones, I need to charge my headphones, and I always forget to do that. So I don't have any music again, but I'm gonna take this pre-workout and get in there and hit some legs. I'm gonna focus mostly on quads today and that's the game plan. So, pre-workout time. See you in there. Alright, back with another leg day. Like I said in the previous clip, I understand that I don't get as many views on my leg workouts, and rightfully so. I don't have the most impressive legs ever, but I'm working on it. However, like I said, I didn't make this channel for views. I made it because I enjoy filmmaking. I want to help people. I want to teach as much as I can about fitness and provide a little bit of entertainment value along the way. So, started off with some squats. Like I said, it was a quad focus day, so I only did four set or three sets warming up of back squats and I went to 225 pounds. The heaviest one I filmed was 185, but then I went right into front squats and I did four sets of front squats with 135. I hit the rail at that point because I went a little too low, but I really like this for leg development, especially quads. I moved from there on to leg press, and as you can see, my feet are very, very close together. That's going to work the quad sweep or the vastus lateralis, the outside part of your quad. And I do this a lot when I do leg press, as you you would have seen in previous videos. And I'm putting my hands there not to help me push, but to make sure that I'm getting the right contraction and targeting the part of the quad that I'm actually trying to hit, which is that outer part. So uh, leg press, I believe I did four sets. I went from one plate to two plates to three plates to four plates and still kept the very narrow stance throughout all the sets just to focus on the vastus lateralis, like I said. Now you notice I'm still wearing my squat shoes. I don't wear them for every single leg exercise. I think I did today because I kept jumping around back and forth, but I usually only wear them for a pressing motion. And obviously leg press is still a pressing motion. So here, two plates. I usually try and keep the rep range anywhere from 10 to 15 on legs, especially if I'm going heavy. It's a little bit lower sometimes, but when I'm doing more volume work and trying to get a little bit of hypertrophy, then I keep it around the 10 to 15 rep range. So three plates here on each side. Not a ton of weight, but good enough if I'm getting full range of motion, full contraction to see the benefits. I really like this leg press. It's got a big platform as opposed to the other leg presses that I've used before where they're very small. It feels like my feet will slip off. Uh, it doesn't make that much of a difference when I'm going that narrow, but you get the point. From there, I moved on to single leg leg extensions. Again, trying to keep my feet as close together as possible to target the outside the vastus lateralis of my quad and kept it very light. I'm really just focusing on the contraction of the muscle, not trying to kick with my foot, only getting the movement by contracting my quad, and that in turn lifts my leg. I'm not kicking through my foot by any means, so I think I only did 50 or 60 pounds on each side here, but enough weight that I was able to get the right contraction, but if I wanted to, and a couple sets I did, I did pause reps at the top where I was able to just flex the quad and leave it there and really force the blood into the muscle. Now this is the title of the video, my go-to, my favorite quad developing movement, and it's a sissy squat. Now don't let the name fool you, it's a very difficult, very good exercise. I'm a little tentative here, it was the first time I did it at this gym, and that's because I'm using a decline ab bench, and obviously as you can see my weight is behind me. I should be a lot more upright on this and I'll fix that next time I do it, but I had three plates on the opposite end of that bench so that it would counter the weight and make sure I didn't flip backwards. But you can see him 
my eyes, I'm a little bit concerned about it moving backwards. So this looks like a regular squat and it is a sissy squat. So there is squat in the name. It's still that range of motion. But because your shins are locked in upright like that, you're able to not fire the glute when you're coming up and only use your quad to bring yourself back up. Now I did unweighted for the first set and I did the bar for the second set. The third set I did 25 pounds and you can see I'm coming down a little too forward. As I said, that's just because I was afraid of the machine falling over. So I need to either put it under the Smith machine bar next time or just throw more weight on there so I can stay more upright and get a deeper contraction and deeper range of motion. But this is a very good exercise. If you haven't tried it, you don't need a sissy squat machine. There are such things, but you can make one out of a decline bench like I did here. And I did the bar with 25 pounds. So I did 95 pounds for, I believe, I believe 12 reps. And then I immediately dropped the bar and finished off with body weight reps. So this is a great finisher. I also did calf raises, but I didn't film them. I did standing and seated, and then no hamstring curls or anything like that because it was a quad day. So hope you enjoyed the workout. See you in the next one.